Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Virgo. This is going to be for your May 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So we're going to take a look and see what your blocks and challenges are in love, okay? And then we'll finish off the reads to see how you can overcome your blocks and challenges. Um, if there's anyone new coming towards you, if you guys are single, okay? Uh, let's see. So uh, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages where the collective Virgo people, um, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live, okay? So Virgo, tell me about Virgo here. Tell me about Virgo. Uh, what are Virgo's blocks and challenges in love? What are Virgo's blocks and challenges in love for May 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Virgo. All right, we have the star card here in the Page of Swords. So Virgo, you could be healing right now, okay? Um, you know, I, one of the things I'm getting here is I, I feel like you guys might be learning a lot about, you know, spirituality, esoteric, you know, uh, you know, just uh, spiritual stuff. Yeah, you guys could be reading a lot of books about that right now. Uh, just a lot of self-help books here too. So the star card here, Aquarius Energy, Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, the Page of uh, the King of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. Hmm. Virgo could be a situation that there is someone here that's chasing you, but I feel like you don't want anything to do with this person though. King of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. For some reason, I feel like you're this Queen of Swords, but apply this to your own unique situation, okay? So King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. Knight of Swords and the Five of Wands, okay. Could be a situation that you're still holding on to some sort of anger here where someone here did you wrong. I do feel like the block is that, yeah, there is someone here that's, you know, thinking about you, that's chasing you around, but you don't want anything to do with this person. Yeah, this person really created a lot of fear here. Really hurt you here. You know, I feel like what you found out was like, I feel like this might have recently happened. You found out through social media that your person was talking to someone else or dating somebody else or sleeping with somebody else here, okay? You know, this is really interesting because I feel like someone here was fearful of you finding out. You know, uh, so I feel like you found out. Um, thing is, I feel like this is really fresh though. This is really fresh. The King of Pentacles. Ace of Cups, Queen of Swords. Now, if this happens a, like a long time in the past, okay, and there is new love in the picture here, all right, I, I, I feel like right now, Virgo, you might not be interested. There could, it could be a situation that there are several people that are interested in you, okay? Maybe a past person or a new person or that both of these people could be new. So like I said, you could apply this to your own unique situation. All right, King of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Knight of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Wands here. It could be that you're not ready for love because you're still overcoming some sort of uh, painful, hurtful situation that you went through here in the past. You have the Ten of Pentacles and the, uh, 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 the Tower. So there are people coming towards you here when you least expect it. I do feel like there's someone here that's coming in with a lot of anger here. It could be that, you know, this person's coming in or that this person's holding on to you because you dumped this person and it bruised their ego here and they're mad, all right? But I also feel like there is a strong energy that you want to be on your own right now. Yeah, you're focusing on your healing, but there are a couple of people in or around you here. Uh, what else do we have for Virgo? How can Virgo overcome their blocks and challenges for May 2023? You know, with the Ace of Cups here, there is new love here. Yeah, there is new love here. Let's see. Three of Wands and the Three of Cups. Nine of Cups and the King of Swords. Queen of Cups and the Ten of Cups. We have the King to Queen of Cups. King to Queen of Swords. 
your wish fulfillment's coming in for you here. Um, Virgo. So one of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, you don't have to completely dive into this, uh, dive into a relationship with this person as soon as possible. You can take a pseudo time, get to know this person first. Yeah, and I feel like eventually this will turn into something more. But you know, whatever pain that you've been through here, it's important to consistently stay on top of it so that you don't bleed all, all over this person. You know, we all have baggage, you know, we all have been through uh, painful and hurtful situations. It's a matter of staying on top of it, you know, staying on top of it, working on it consistently so that you don't bleed all over the other person. So start off as friends first. Go out there, have a good time, get to know this individual here. It seems like your soulmate's coming in. Yeah, it seems like your wish fulfillment's coming in. But I do feel like you're still dealing with some sort of residual hurt and residual anger here. So, or someone here is angry. Yeah. So, uh, King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Look at this Queen of Cups. Look at this Queen here. When it comes to romance, when it comes to commitment, this Queen is, has their back turned away from this. But there is like an interest towards this new person here too. Uh, three of Wands. People are just really co complex people. It's co quite interesting. So um, the Sun and the Temperance card, Sagittarius energy. Uh, I feel like you're a, uh, you're about to find someone here that's going to make you very very happy. This person, this new person, is going to be completely different from the last person that you dealt with here. So we have the King to Queen of Swords, King to Queen of Cups. This King of Pentacles is the outside person. This could be the past person that has hurt you that could be coming back around angry. Okay, Nine of Cups. We have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, King of Swords here. One of the things I'm getting here is that this person is going to be really attracted to you. This person is going to chase you. Okay, another thing is I feel like this person that's coming into your life, this person could be a single parent, okay? They already have a child, okay? Maybe you already have a child here. It, it seems like this could be a blended family, all right? Ace of Wands here, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Tell me about the Queen of Cups here. Two of Wands. Yeah, you're not sure if you want this or not, um, Virgo. Ten of Cups. Yeah, Two of Swords. Yeah, you're not quite sure if you want this or not. Yeah, I, I, I feel like, you know, at the end of the day, this is really up to you. You decide what what's good for you. But I do feel like this can work out. That's if you open yourself up to it and you consistently stay on top of your uh, baggage here. Uh, but like I, like I said, you know, for, with free will and all, it's really up to you. But I, I do feel like this is going to be a completely different person than your past person here. Okay, there's going to be a very strong soul connection between you guys, uh, but it just seems like you, it just seems like you're not really open for it. You, yeah, so and that's okay too. That's okay too. So Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.